Good evening, we're back for something a bit different on the channel once more. This time, I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Sonic Robo Blast 2 with the main trio, as well as the characters from that recent Chaotix mod. And I'm also going to be using the buddy mod so I can have everyone on screen at once. Hopefully I don't have any issues. I've been having issues trying to get a good recording and with that. I had one instance where the game just crashed on me, and I just had another instance where it slowed down on me randomly. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. Let's see, buddy. There we go. Now let's get the chaotic characters. And there we go. We'll do a don't save. Start off with Sonic. Pause it. Let's get our friends added in. First we need to do buddy underscore limit eight adbot tails orange adbot knuckles red adbot SBO magenta adbot vector green adbot charmy yellow adbot mighty red adbot heavy silver adbot bomb red. And we're all set. I'll be getting all seven cast emeralds for this playthrough. So we get the good ending. I'll have links to the uh, mods I'm using down below, by the way. And if you want to check out the trailer at all for this game, as well as the Chaotix mod, I'll put the links to those down below as well. This was actually built off the Doom Engine and is older than most Sonic fans. I want to say I was either 7 or 9 when this thing started, basically. Alright, good, I did that fast enough, so I got the one up. Otherwise, my friends would have, like, clipped through there and, um, taken care of them for me. I didn't want them doing that. I'll try not to waste too much time, but I'm also going to try showing off every character at least once. And, um, if I have the opportunity to get 200 rings at a level, I'm gonna do that, because that's a free 2-1-ups I wanna get. And a really cool thing you can actually do with Espio here. Functions very much like how he used to in, um, Chaotix. And uh, another really cool thing... Emblems. They're all over the place in this game. There are 200 of them. And the game's not even finished yet. That should tell you how much content there is to this game. And uh, there are mods out the ass. I'm talking new levels, new gimmicks, new characters. It's all really cool. And very nice little feature I like about the, the um, fan game here, too. Not just Sonic. Everyone can use the new shields that are added to the game, as well as the powers for the elemental shields, which are in bonus levels of all places. Anywho, come up here for invincibility. Got another one up coming up here. And that's level one. <laughs> 
I'm really fearing whether or not I'm going to have issues, like, as the playthrough continues, because I've had so many. Just trying to get a recording, and I think it might have something to do with having this many characters on screen at one time. Alright, get the link freeze. Uh, as you could tell, the um, special stages, they're nice inspired, which I think is really neat. And I'll go ahead and mention some mods I think you should download. I will not link them. You can easily find them on your own. Definitely search up Rush characters. MC Sonic, that's Max Control Sonic. And um, Modern Sonic. Definitely look those up. Those, in my opinion, are must-haves. The Rush characters one especially. And uh, if you want to access Super Blaze and Super Marine, you'll have to do all seven bosses and not get hit at all to get all seven soul emeralds. And one of the custom buttons also lets you ride one of the um, vehicles from Rush Adventures. It's the uh, jet ski thing, and you can summon it that will pretty much. It's really cool. I would also recommend looking up the Mario Bros. mod. That is really kick-ass. Mario and Luigi look great in that. And a bunch of power-ups from older Mario games are even included. In place of the monitors in this game. Like, there's even the Cape Feather in place of the Tornado Shield, and it functions exactly how you think it would. And Ray actually functions a similar way to that. Though, in my opinion, he's not as good as the Chaotix mob we're seeing here. I'll show this off once. Now, how I did that was, if you let go of the button, just as you're coming into contact with the wall, you'll get the prompts for that. And it's the same notes you would see when activating the mod. It's the Chaotix Melody, you know, du, 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 that one. Also, that can happen if you're too close to the wall, unfortunately. That's prone to happen, happening. I want a shield. So I'm going back for one. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. This is actually the, the song you'll hear in the trailer. Is that a shield up there? I could have sworn there's a tornado shield. You know, I'm getting tails out. Ah, uh, you know what, Charmy's fine too. Now with Charmy, you can only do this three times when you're not in super form. And he has a um, slow fall, which is nice. And that's a spin dash. He stabs with his uh, stinger. And, uh, Mighty, Mighty's really freaking good. He has his drop dash and his, uh, spike protection from Mania. And he can also, um, do what he did in Chaotix, which is ascend walls, like so. You know, I'm just gonna move on. Fuck the shield. We got a long game ahead of us.
Screw it, I'll use Ivy. He has a butt stomp. And uh, if you hold his uh, spin dash button while on the ground and build it speed, he'll do that. I'll try showing it off again. Hold on. I'll show it off when there's more space. I can't do it here. He's a little bit clunky to use. Not to be fair, it is heavy. And there you go, you can do that. Let's show off Bomb. He's actually really fun. And that's a spin dash. Come under here for another uh, Emerald Token. And Sonic has the Thawk. That's another mod I want to bring up, by the way. MC Sonic. That's uh, Max Control. That'll give him the Thawk, the Super Peel Out. And he can also do the Drop Dash from Mania. So close to another one up. I want to get it. Gimme. And now I don't care about earlier. Climb up here with Nux. Another one up. But that should more or less hopefully give you a basic rundown on all the characters here. Careful when you're using your boost, by the way. You will lose um, steering control. And you can be really liberal with your um, boost, so go crazy with it. Not a fan of this last part. There we go. It's not so bad. You just gotta kind of feel your way around it. Funny, SBO's color scheme sadly reminds me of Barney the Dinosaur. I wonder if that was intentional or not. Probably not. I can't believe I just brought that up, all things, either. I 
Careful on this last segment. Bunch of um, morning stars. Or ball and chain. Whatever. And boss time. Party Man does not stand a chance at all with this many people on the screen attacking him. I hardly had to do anything. I tried hitting him, but he was still getting hit, so I went right through him. And yes, like in the Chaotix game, if you stand still long enough with uh, Espio, he will change colors. Here are their idle animations. Let's just show off vectors. This is really cool. He's got a couple different tunes to listen to. Show off the other one. Keep showing up the same one. There we go. I think he'll also have the main theme playing. That's one of them, but I'm not going to waste your time with that. And why not? Let's go back to uh, Knuckles for a bit. It is really freaking cool seeing all of them run alongside each other like that. Kind of reminds me of the Shadow of the Hedgehog games opening, honestly. Only, you know, that game sucks. Also, I'm going to say this right now, and I do not care if I piss off any Sonic fans. This is the only good 3D Sonic game to me. Do with that what you will. But I suppose that is kind of unfair to, to um, Generations. Generations isn't bad. I forgot, Knuckles can't make that jump. I forget where it's at, but I know if you jump over one of these areas, there's an emblem. By the way, I'm using a PS5 controller, and if you're wondering how to get appropriate camera control, then you need to go to Options... Player what controls gamepad. Set it to Z axis, you'll be good, because otherwise you have to tilt up and down to get the camera to swing left and right. It's really clunky. And uh, how I have such good control too is I have it set to automatic. And um, I've also got my jump map to L1, and I've got my spin jump map to um, R1. To me, it's like the preferred control scheme because you get full camera control while doing anything else you want, pretty much. At least as far as this game's considered. I'm going to get this with Mighty, and then I'll show off the actual way to get it. Damn it, I missed it. 
You know what? Fine. I'll do it the legit way. So this is how they want you to do it. You go to this block over here. Jump here. Face left. Jump. And that's how you do it. I'm going to go back for some more rings. I'm really close to a one-up. Speed shoes. Ring box. There we go. Let's actually swatch. Uh, swatch. Switch to tails. All right, now we'll backtrack. Can you make this? Okay, good, good, good. Gimme. Good, I got both thermal tokens. Let's get out of here. I did not mean to switch to the uh, tails there. Oopsie. It's whatever. Really sucks that tails can't go super with all seven chaos elements. You need a mod to do that, unfortunately. You can easily track that down, though. It even works on um, Fang and Amy, which is cool. Though I think they can already innately go super. I think, anyway. Don't call me on that. This is a really short special stage. Very easy, too. This will look familiar coming up in the next one we go to. The little spiral we just did going down. Crap, crap. On the number six. By the way, you can also slow down by hitting the um, spin button. You'll want to do that at least once in a while. Because otherwise, you're going way too fast and bouncing all over the place and running into hazards. There we go. There's that spiral I was talking about. Damn it, I missed the loop. I really want to get that. You're kidding me, that didn't count? Alright, fuck it, let's move on. I'm wasting too much time here. Needed that. Very much needed that. I got more than enough time, don't worry. Well, I might not now. Damn it, I still need more. Okay, not to worry. There's a very easy workaround for that. So, wait for this. Now we can get it. And now we need to move our asses, because we're running out of time. I'm not even going to get the time bonus. It's a huge waste. Just get out of here. Hurry up. Go, 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 go. 
Up. Otherwise, you'll get sent back. That was close. I usually do a lot better on that stage. But, of course, I'm recording. Careful, by the way, when you have that many characters on screen at once, because you will hear very, very loud jump noises. I want my rings. Out of my way. That was satisfying. Triple boop. Got him. Alright, get Knuckles. I'm keeping the shield. Protection. Paying the left here. Much easier path to deal with, just avoid the crushers. Oh, no, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Go this way instead. I can do that path. It's just annoying them to deal with. Prick. Stupid net. We're almost at the uh, Emerald Token. We're right by it now, I think. Yeah, come over here. Take the set of springs, hang a right. Then take this red spring. Fall down here, careful. And moving on. I don't need that life. We're about to get another one anyway. Get money out. Screw that up. Hit the button. Now, regular way of doing that, see these pistons here? The normal way, they want you to wait on one of those pistons until it gets high and then jump. And hit the button that way. But we got mighty, so fuck that. I think your jump is sadly gimped while you're in the school. I don't know if I went over it yet, but um, doing this, the tilt, that'll let you go underneath gaps. And uh, if you're in wheel form and hold back and then hit the spin button again, can launch in another direction. Very nice. Don't mind me, just showing off. Let's hit that with Knuckles. Alright, now let's get our last Chaos Emerald. We'll see this stage light game.
Endgame, rather. Stupid light barriers. Damn it. No, nope, I'm getting this. I don't care. There, I got a bunch of them at least. We're about to get a time bonus soonish here. That's why I wasn't really too worried about getting hit. Especially in this spot, I think. There it is. Gimme. Very easy to get 120 blue spheres in this level. Just like that, we're done. I keep screwing that up. I hate this segment. There you go. That's how you do that. I don't care. Let's just get a move on. I should have slowed down. This last part's a bit tricky. And there we go, we're done. All seven Chaos Summons collected. That guarantees us the good ending. And another continue, awesome. Boss time. Probably the easiest boss in the whole game. Damn it, I hit the goop. No, get out of here, Eggman. Stupid. Now, if you don't want the camera to, to uh, fuck with you like that, hit the spin button when getting off the wall. Like that. If you don't have all seven Chaos Emeralds by this point, I'll show off where you can get three Emerald Tokens in this one stage. Now, first you want to go down here. No, it's over here. I slow down on purpose so I can keep this shield as opposed to the um, tornado shield. You know, just get tails out. But uh, normally how you're supposed to get that legit is if you have the um, tornado shield, you would guide your way up those pillars, and then up here, and then you would use it here. Only I'm using tails, so I don't need to. That's another really cool thing about this shield, by the way. At least a fire trail when you use a spin dash. And this is the reason I was keeping this shield. It'll let us breathe underwater. It also lets us breathe in space for some reason. Even though the characters have been shown to be able to breathe in space naturally. 
I don't get it either. Okay, well, anyway, generally you're supposed to jump into that. It'll explode that and reveal a um, spring to which you can take up here and get that. That's where you could find one of them. One more left to show off. You want to take this path? Okay, that happened. Not sure what that was about. But thankfully everything seems to be running okay. Alright, let's head on down. Don't hit the Eggman monitors, you sucker. Alright, where you get the other one, swim up here. And that's where you get the third one. Now, if you take all three paths to get rid of all the statues at the end, that's how you get one of the emblems in this level. I will not be showing that off. It would move this. It's actually right underneath this guy. And let's actually do this one with Knuckles. Up. Hop on over. It took them a very long time to work out slopes into this, by the way. They did a great job with it, I think. Before, it was just like a bunch of stairs. Didn't look as good. From what I heard, it took them about five years to actually properly incorporate slopes into the Doom engine. I have no idea how they did it. It sounds like it was a huge pain in the ass. Now we can go super, but I don't want to. Not right now. Damn it, I should have gone super. Oh well. Shit happens. I'm going super next time I get 50 rings. That was just me being stingy. Watch the bombs. Yeah, let's actually get tails. Fly through this segment. Or sw swim. I think that's uh, speed shoes. Yep. Give me that. I forget what's over here. I don't usually come here. Push the statues. Oh, I missed someone. Alternate pathway. Oh, right. Slow down, Tails. I don't want to get knocked by the stupid asshole shellcracker. Go. Or maybe I have to... Yeah, I have to go this way, I think.
No, I was going the right way. Nice, now we can go super. Can't do it with tails, though. Moving on. We're almost at the end. This is not a very long stage. Hang a left. Get a free one up. Hang a left again. Jump. And that's the end of the level, actually. I was going too fast, so I didn't fall down into the uh, springs that would take you up here. I think Fang actually has his own path. And uh, Amy, for that matter. Just circle around the arena. It's a really easy fight. And then they'll start using uh, dummies. And they shoot dummy missiles. It's easy to tell which one's the real one. Now you notice a very miscolored uh, block there. Hit it, and you can easily get another um, ring box. I highly recommend taking this path if you're able to. It's a lot easier to navigate. And funny thing, there's actually a Dark Souls reference in this level. I'll show it when we get to it. Or pointing out. I should show this to my buddy Freak, actually, the uh, Dark Souls reference. I'll probably get a kick out of that. I actually want to explore. What's up here? Apparently I can go over that way. That was close. Holy shit. This is normally why I take the top path, by the way. Very hazardous down here. Let's just go back up. I was trying to go in here, see what was up at this spot. That went about as well as you can expect. Okay, so now what? Almost died there, holy shit! No more exploring, let's get a move on.
We're coming up to that Dark Souls reference here now anytime. Be wary of the statues. There it is, right there, that's the Dark Souls reference. There's another tornado shield in the area if you need it. It's somewhat hidden, but it's really easy to find. Almost got enough for another one up. Damn you, I'm going back down. Got him. And I can't switch. That's concerning. You know what? Nope, tails. Fuck your challenge. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm not SBO. That was close. Go back for a ring box. You know, let's actually use Heavy. This is a really good stage form. A lot of straight paths. I think he can also get rid of spikes, which is nice. Oh, and he doesn't care for spikes either. Very good. Did not know he was immune to spikes. I would have been using him a lot more, actually. Jump over here, you get a free ring box, I think. Yep, ring box. Yeah, he's clunky. Back to Mighty. See, he's got his protection from the uh, Mania. Even has the same sound effects. Like that, for example. Kind of redundant when you think about it when Mighty's going super, super Mighty. I think there's an emblem you can get around here, but I'm not going to worry about that. Thankfully, I downloaded a master save file, so I didn't have to do any of that. It's not hard, it just takes a while. If you know what you're doing, you can do it in less than five hours. I know that.
All right, super mighty. Oh, neat. They have super forms as well. Up we go. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Son of a bitch. I went backwards. Jump or they will push you off into a bottomless pit. Got a shield now for what that's worth. Screw this entire segment. There's an emblem you can get. It's way up there, though. And one of the most difficult bosses in the game. What was that about? There, none of them are stuck underground. Just take your time and this boss is really easy. He's more of a waiting game than anything. And watch your footing because more and more of the stage will um, dissipate the more you hit him. Somebody else hit him, so I went right through him. Let's get Knuckles out. Do not run into the bad next, by the way. They will toss your ass right into the pet. What did I just tell myself? You son of a bitch. Why? Damn it. Go away. Die. All right, next level. This is one of my favorite levels, if anything, just for the Looney Tunes reference. I'll point it out when it comes out.
Be very careful here for the cacti. Damn you! Lost all those rings, prick. Why? Well, anyway, here's that Looney Tunes reference I was getting at. Plus all the TNT. Very wily Coyote and Roadrunner. Damn you! You know, I wonder, what else is back there, or is that it? Because we have heavy. I'm curious, what's back here? Oh, that's neat. I wonder how you get there you, uh, regularly. Okay, apparently Eggman Mounters don't hurt him. Heavy kicks ass, I'm not going to lie. He's just a little clunky to use. Let's actually just go up the tails. Another one up. I'm surprised I haven't died yet. Of course, now that I just said that, only a matter of time. Need to hurry up. I'm about to lose speed shoes. Uh, if I'm respawn, so that I can help you get past that last part right there. It's very steep. I want that life. That was close. Got it. Damn you! Well, it's a good thing the shield takes two hits. Holy shit, that was close. I do not want to lose that progress. Why'd I do that? I hit the wrong button. We are not going all the way back down. I'm getting that one up. That is so weird. You have to jump on them to hit them. Just avoid them. They're bullshit enemies anyway. Fuck the bomb. Just punch the dirt with knuckles. Come over here for a free windshield. And I think we're actually at the last part of the uh, level. This 
Screw it. Tails. And we're done. Okay, apparently I can't glide there. Where's Tails? Give me Tails. Thank you. Knuckles has a really specific path to navigate. Don't worry about the gas, it doesn't hurt you, it just makes you heavy. Damn it, I want that one up. Gimme! Thank you. Speed shoes. Roll. That's how you avoid the incoming spikes. Gimme that, gimme that. I had no idea that was there. Hell yeah. Can I switch? Thank you. And apparently you can't switch while in the minecart. So be mindful of that. I'm super though, so we're just going to tank all the hits. Also, it's funny. Careful here, it's very easy to fall into the bottomless pits. This part's really automatic. Another uh, ring box around here? Up there. Okay. Now take the minecart. You can even go first person with this, with this um, which is really cool. Anyway, go this way. Anyway, want to get a free one up. Like so. And now we go up. We're actually almost done with the level. This is like the last segment. And then left. And then jump. Jump again. We're about to fight our boss on that train. Take a while, guess who it is. If you guess like man, you're wrong. Hello, Fang. He will shoot you and throw bombs. You can actually play as him, too. Though he does not throw bombs for some reason. Maybe in battle mode.
I kind of want to switch the tails just in case. He's got a really funny death animation. Bye, Fang. <laughs> And now we have just one act of Volcanic Zone. I'm abusing super form. I do not like this stage. Not because it's bad or anything, just because there are so many hazards that can hit you. And lava parts that can crush you, which makes no sense. It's lava. It's not supposed to crush you. But, whatever. Let's get a bunch of rings. Can't switch while on boulders either, apparently. Yeah, let's get mighty. There we go. Yes, we are actually doing this. Careful. Alright, now I'll use it. Wanted to make sure I got that one up first. Get another one up in here. I had no idea that was there. Actually discovering a couple of things on this playthrough. Let go, jerk. Screw that, let's just run on the lava. Not a bad theme, honestly. This game has great music. I think you have to keep going around in circles until you clear the segment, so let's just use Tails. Yeah, this really um, thick lava can crush you for some reason. I don't get it. Whoopsie. Oh well. Another one up for us. I can get on the damn thing. I'm getting that one up. Got it. And uh, there's an emerald token behind the rocket. But since we got the emeralds, that's another one up. Oh, really? I can't climb on that. Interesting. Oh, wasn't another continue and not a one up? Meh. Alright, 
life stage in the game. Let's switch to Asbiel for a little. Damn it! That was bullshit. Okay, I was holding the jump button. What the hell happened there? The zone does not fuck around if you couldn't tell. Very easy to die here. Also, I suck. At least it took me this long to die. Unfortunate, I don't have that shield anymore. I was hoping to hang on to that for at least a little while. By the way, you can switch this, by the way. Um, what I mean by that is when you go upside down, you can have the camera stay the same. Or you can have it flip with you. You do that in the options. Video options, and then I think it's... Or wait, was it in here? No, it's in controls, and then camera options. And then you need to toggle this. That's how you do it. Almost got crushed there. You know what? No. I want that uh, one up or continue. Whatever. There we go. One up. And then go this way for it. Okay. You know what? Fuck this. Tails. Ooh, that is a hidden wall. Oh yeah, I forgot. Knuckle segment here. And this is where you want to use the spin uh, button to easily get off of these. Otherwise, this room is a huge pain in the ass. Oh crap, why did I ignore my own advice? There we go, that's how you make that easier. Damn you, asshole! Super form, fuck you. And this is what I was getting at earlier. Yeah, we can breathe in uh, space with this now. I don't get that. I'm thankful for it, but I don't get it.
No one up for me. Oh well. Alright, last regular level, and there's actually a optional path where you can show off a 2D segment. I'm not going to do that, though. So if you want to see that, take the right path. And I like to call this an adventure callback. I don't really care for adventure, personally. I think it's meta as hell. But, uh, I definitely recognize that segment. Might be the left area from before that I'm thinking about for the uh, 2D segment. I'm not going to bother with it. Now, I know in development, um, that area was going to change, but they decided to keep it for right now for whatever reason. Time will tell whether or not they decide to keep it. Like, for the full game. Make sure you jump there. Yeah, spot on this pet. That was close. Almost not like a putz. Make sure you're fast here. Don't worry about rings, just get to your next blue area. One up. Very catchy music. Whipping out tails for this part. There's a hidden room where you, that you can uh, access. Where you can fight Eggman in. Uh, like, really early on. I'll show off where it is, but I'm not going to actually take it. It's before you enter one of the final doors. There you go. Jerk. It's in uh, this area, I think. Nope, not this area. And now we have unlimited flight with Super Charmy. Careful, you could easily get crushed here and die. There we go, it's in this area. It's behind one of these. You have to spin dash through it. I believe it's behind this one. It's one of these. I know that. Alright, now we race Metal Sonic. I'm gonna do this as Sonic.
Always make sure you're doing that to get a nice head start. And I'm sorry for any headphone users here as I just destroyed. There we go, we won. Not joking, that's the whole race for me now. Thank you, Metal Sonic. What a pal. And there we go, that's the race. And now we fight him. Now if you're fast enough, you can do that three times. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Come here. He's not too hard. You just got to be careful. Really annoying to no-hit him, though. I remember that took me quite a while. Dude, come on. Asshole. Damn it. That's often where we get hit, right at the end. Alright, come here. Let's get this over with. Come on. Douchebag. Ooh, electric candy. <laughs> Alright, time for our last fight. Really cool thing they did for the last boss. You actually fight the big robot from the OVA. <laughs> Come here, prick. Walk into the acid water. Come on. Thank you. He's got a really annoying attack. We'll see soon here. Once the um, perimeter goes down. Watch the fire. Oh, come on. He walked right under that. That attack. This took a while to know it as well. Not so bad if you're using Sni- uh, Fang. Though I think you have to do it as, uh, Blazer Marine if you're trying to get the Soul Emeralds.
should just be one more hit. Nope. Damn it, it got me. Come on. Walk under the rain. Come on. Fuck me. Asshole. And there you go, that's Sonic Rumble Blast 2. Very fun game, and I'm only scratching the surface with this playthrough. And there you go, that's the good ending. And yes, the um, stars will change depending on what character you beat the game as. Even mods have it. It's really cool. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for the playthrough. What's well, not joking? There's a lot of content to this game. I highly recommend you check this game out. But anyway, I'll see you guys at a later time. I'm going to go and get some rest here. Peace out.